Hi. Welcome to the MSE channel. Today we are going to talk about EBSD analysis and the deduction of its results with the OIM program. I used EBSD analysis in my thesis, which helped me get acquainted with this analysis. EBSD is an added detector on SEM devices. EBSD is generally used to evaluate grain shape, grain size, and texture. As you can see in this slide, the sample has an angle of 80 degrees from the electron beam. The reflection of the electron beam creates dark and light parallel lines called Kikuchi. These lines are caused by electron reflection at atomic planes. By analyzing these lines, the shape and texture of the grains can be achieved. In this slide, you can see the SEM image of the particles and the Kikuchi lines created by the particles. In order to create Kikuchi lines and perform EBSD analysis, the sample must be polished. To do this, they first do manual polish and then electro polishing. In this slide, you can see the SEM image of the accurately polished surface of the aluminum copper oxide composite. As mentioned, the surface must be completely polished. Otherwise, EBSD analysis does not work or shows vague images. In this slide, you can see the image of the aluminum surface, which is not well electropolished. Electropolish is performed at minus 30 degrees Celsius with 30% nitric acid and 70% methanol solution. Overall, EBSD analysis is used to evaluate the sample crystallography and tissue, calculate the mean size of the grain, grain shape, and structure without etch, calculate the misorientation angles, and the examination of low and high angle boundaries. In these two images, the structure, the orientation of the grains, the low and high angles boundaries, the misorientation angles, and the pole map were obtained by the EBSD analysis for the ALCUO composite created by the ARB method, are shown. First, open the analysis file in the program. Here, I show you the analysis of the annealed aluminum EBSD. This app is highly user-friendly. At the top of the page, there are different options to create different maps. One of these maps is the map of the grains with different colors for each grain. This map shows only the grains. To detect the grains apart, each grain has a different color than the surrounding grains. EBSD analysis is based on calculation. For this reason, there are disruptions in the maps. To improve the result, right-click on all data and click Clean Up. In this case, the maps will become cleaner. Right-click on the map can CH. Right-click on the map can change the scale bar. By showing the boundaries of the grains, the grains can be precisely identified. Clicking on the IPF option can draw the grain orientation map. In this map, too, the boundaries of the grains can be shown with the angle of misorientation angle, thickness, and color. This map shows the orientation of the grains based on a default axis.
Determine the correct axis or point of view according to the crystal structure. In this case, you will see the right orientation of the grains. From the top of the page, you can select and draw the boundaries map. In this map, the low and high angles grains boundaries are automatically displayed. Boundaries with 2 to 5 degrees of misorientation angle can be considered sub-grain structures. Right click on the page and select show, can be determined what to show. You can view the surface image of the sample by deleting the OIM map and the boundary and selecting the SEM display. At the end of this clip, I thank Dr. Borani for familiarizing me with artificial intelligence.